Hi everybody, hope you're doing well, you're safe, healthy, and uh, everyone around you is in good spirits. Uh, today I'm going to do another stretch video for you. I've got the angle a little bit different than usual, so we're going to try this out. Um, I'm going to go through about six or seven exercises, stretches. Uh, again, I'm going to focus a little bit more on the forearms and uh, the neck because a lot of us are sitting at a, a desk and using screens like we're, we're doing now. Um, so hopefully it will help you out there. First one we're going to do is a standing chest stretch. So what I want you guys to do, placing both arms and both hands behind you just like so, you're gonna stand just like this, opening up the chest. Now we've done this one before, but what I'm also gonna use is this lovely wall. What I want you to do is place your hand on the wall just above your shoulders, and we're gonna rotate open. What that's gonna do is open up our chest right through here. It's gonna get at a different angle, so you may feel it a little differently, but we're gonna hold all of our stretches between 30 and 45 seconds. You can hold it longer if you're definitely feeling stiff or sore. Our next one is our forearms. So we're gonna do top of the forearm first, palm towards you just like this, grabbing the back of your hand and pulling it towards you just like so. Again, we're going to hold it for about 30 to 45 seconds, and you can do it as many times as you like. I prefer doing it once, all the way through the routine. So again, this one we're going palm face away from you. So palm up, face away from you, pull on those fingers towards you just like so, and try and keep that arm nice and straight. You're going to get a stretch right in through here. Awesome. If you need to, you can also rotate this way. So you're going to rotate your fingers inwards. And what that'll do is actually create a little bit more of a stretch in the forearms. Awesome. What I usually do after those two exercises, I shake up my wrists, get them all nice and loose, and loosen those forearms. Next one we're going to do is a standing quad stretch. So standing just like so, we're going to, you can use your arm as balance if you want. Make sure you bend this knee just a little bit to give yourself a little bit more stability. If you don't want to, you can definitely use the wall. Brace yourself up against the wall and do the same exercise. Now in one of our stretch videos earlier, I used a strap. So you can also do that or a, um, a yoga strap or a belt to do this stretch. Excellent. Make sure that you do every exercise and every stretch on the opposite side for the same amount of time. Next one we're going to do is a calf stretch. So some people call this a runner stretch. Heel nice and flat on the floor. You're going to lean forward, just like so. If you want to, you can bring and do a, uh, a back of the shoulder stretch or an upper back stretch, or back of the shoulder stretch, and holding it here. Now what you may want to do if you're not getting this, again, we're going to go back to the wall, foot up against the wall just like so, and we're going to put our toes up against the wall and we're going to lean into the, into the stretch. That way we're getting more of an angle at the ankle and we're going to stretch out that calf a little bit more. Awesome. What I'm going to get you to do, we're going to go down to the mat, one knee on the floor, we're going to kick that front foot forward because what we're going to do is we're going to drive our hips kind of or, or push our hips towards the floor on a 45. So we're going to lean forward just like so, opening up this hip. And again, we're holding it for 30 to 45 seconds. What if you really want to add more stretches to this or combinations thereof, you can again put your hands in the back of your uh, small of your back, rotating open. Taking deep breaths in and opening those, uh, those chest muscles up and the front of the shoulders. Excellent. When you're coming back out of this, we're going to lean back just like so. If you want, we're going to do a lower back stretch. So kneeling on the mat just like so, arms out in a four point, kind of like this, 
We're gonna lean back just like so. And some of us may get this stretch in our lower back. Some may get it right in this area, um, teres major or lats. And again, if you're not getting much of a stretch, you can kind of creep your fingers along your mat and stretch yourself out there. Once we've done this stretch, we're gonna come up into a four point, walk ourselves back in. We're gonna sit on our mat in a butterfly kind of fashion, so feet together. Again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down on the inside part of the thighs, so pushing your elbows into the, uh, into the inner thigh and grabbing at the ankle, and this way you can kind of lean forward a little bit and lean forward. That'll get uh, maybe a lower back, maybe inside thigh, um, but a lot of this is kind of, because we sit a lot as well, we wanna make sure that we're opening up those hips. Uh, great. Now in this similar position, holding it again for 30 to 45 seconds, what I want you to do is you can cross your feet just like so. Awesome. Placing one palm on, this, on the mat just like so, and we're gonna push our shoulder to the floor, almost like we wanna push our palm into the floor, and we're gonna tilt our head away from our shoulder. Again, sitting at the desk, sitting in front of screens, sitting in chairs for long periods of time, our necks and shoulders and upper body definitely get stiff and sore. Hold it for again, that 30 to 45 seconds, coming back up nice and slow. If you've got a lot of tension, everything's really stiff and sore, make sure that you hold these for shorter amounts of time, but do multiple times. Um, so instead of doing the stretch three times, you wanna do it five or six times. Awesome, just make sure that you do that stretch again on the opposite side. Hopefully you guys are all well and that you're doing uh, great. You guys take care, we'll see you soon.